This video will walk you through a resource utilization problem to determine the number of servers or workers required to achieve a desired utilization rate, as well as calculate the output rate and identify where a bottleneck exists. Here's the data for our problem. The production process shown below consists of five stages. The numbers in the parentheses are the times it takes to complete one unit before moving on to the next stage. The demand rate is 36 units per hour. There are three requirements for this problem. Requirement A asks us to determine how many workers are required at each stage if management wants to maintain a utilization of at least 90%. Requirement B asks us to calculate the output rate at each stage if the number of workers at each stage are shown in this panel. Requirement C asks us to determine where the bottleneck exists in this process. Let's get started with Requirement A. Recall from the chapter that one of the ways to calculate utilization is to take the demand rate divided by the output rate, which is the service rate times the number of servers. For this requirement, we need to modify this equation ever so slightly and change the equal sign to be a less than or equal to sign because the utilization rate must be at least 90%. If we use letters for our variables, our revised formula reads utilization U is less than or equal to the demand rate D divided by the service rate S times the number of servers, n. Applying this to stage A of our process, we set 0.9 to be less than or equal to the demand rate of 36 units per hour divided by 12 units per hour times n. Now that 12 units per hour is determined based on 60 minutes per hour divided by the 5 minutes per unit required at stage A. Now with little cross multiplication and basic algebra, we reduce our equation to 0.9 times 12n is less than or equal to 36. 0 0.9 times 12 equals 10.8n, which is less than or equal to 36. n is 36 divided by 10.8, therefore n must be less than or equal to 3.33. Thus, the number of workers required to achieve at least 90% utilization in stage A is 3.33, or three workers rounded down. Stage B takes 0.9 less than or equal to the 20 units per hour 60 minutes divided by 3 units per minute times n. 0.9 times 20n is equal to 18n less than or equal to 36. Therefore, n must be less than or equal to 2.0 workers. Here are the number of workers required for the remaining stages C through E. You should stop the video at this point to confirm that you can get the same results. Now for requirement B. Here, we're asked to calculate the output rate at each stage. Well, the output rate is simply the service rate times the number of servers. So at stage A, the output rate is 12 minutes times 3 servers, or 36 units per hour. Stage B is 20 minutes times 3 servers for 60 units per hour. The output rates for stages C, D, and E are 50, 30, and 60 units per hour respectively. Feel free to stop the video and make sure you can confirm these. Finally, for requirement C, we're asked to identify the bottleneck in the process. Recall that the bottleneck is the stage or station with the lowest output rate. In this process, the bottleneck is at stage D, which has the lowest output rate of 30 units per hour. This problem illustrated how easy it is to determine how many workers are required to achieve a desired level of utilization and to identify where bottlenecks are in a process.